The Great Outdoors Fund is a new national nonprofit that I founded because there is actually no other national nonprofit that's dedicated to helping any agency in America to better manage recreation by generating funding to improve infrastructure access and the visitor experience. Our mission is for people to get back to nature and to give back to nature so that people of all ages and backgrounds and abilities can really enjoy what Mother Nature has to offer. The people of Colorado love their national forests. We have more and more people coming to this area specifically because of these beautiful areas and these recreation and camping opportunities. Well, this area is predominantly our motorized recreation area. We've got about 200 miles of motorized trail. About 80 of that is designated single track trail. We roughly get about 50,000 visitors a year. There is a lot of pressure here because of the usage so that folks will have nice sites that they're able to go and to camp on or to spend the day on and have a campfire ring there for them, which not everyone's comfortable with using a rock ring and it could be very dangerous. So we recognize this as a super popular area that unfortunately was running into a ton of issues because the more people that are coming out to enjoy it, the more problems they were having to keep it open. I sought out a partner uh, from the private sector that I thought would be a good fit. That was Yamaha Motor Corporation. And uh, they have a grant giving program called the Outdoor Access Initiative. Yamaha, when we look at grants through our outdoor access initiatives, we look for certain things that really mesh with us as a company, our customers, and our dealers. The Great Outdoors Fund, I have known Lori McCullough probably for more than a decade. She brought the rampart up to us. We looked at it, we talked to the folks, and it just seemed to be a really, really good mix. The nets and bolts of this project is that we secured the funding to purchase these heavy-duty fire rings that are compliant with the Americans with Disabilities Act that are installed in 95 campsites that are dispersed throughout this area. What we have here is a, a variety of people from industry, from partners, from youth corps, coming together with a shared vision, a shared effort. Yamaha's been instrumental in purchasing the fire rings. As part of that grant, they have also are paying for the youth corps to be out here. These are the people that are gonna move into the Forest Service or the other agencies that are the next generation of the workforce that it takes to conserve these lands. It is rewarding, for sure. It's really nice, especially to be able to see what you've done after the fact. And obviously, it's just rewarding to get outside and do physical work anyways. Um, it just makes you feel good. Installing these fire rings will help to not only make the place safer when fires are allowed, but it will also provide accessibility for those folks. One of the additional benefits is because it's a developed site with the fire ring, you can actually have fires during stage one fire restrictions. That's important for small businesses to allow for that recreation activity to still continue during stage one restrictions is a tremendous benefit for small businesses and the county and, and everyone that it supports. No, without partners, we couldn't do it on our own. We were really excited to work with the Great Outdoor Fund and to be their first partnership project. That was really exciting for us. The Great Outdoors Fund has done a super job of bringing people together with a fantastic idea of showing industry that they can have a hand in this, and supporting their national force for the people of the United States. This is just great. It's one of the great things that the Great Outdoors brings to the table here is it's a national-based organization and we're trying to get projects out in every state of the country and Lori and her group can do that for us. It's important that we have the help there because uh, Forest Service budget is tight nowadays. I mean, we can use all the help we can get. I think it's an easy estimate to say that backlog maintenance alone from coast to coast is $100 billion. I personally believe that we can't wait on the government to solve these problems. Again, limitless opportunities for the private sector to get involved, from corporations to individuals too. It's time for people to step in and chip in.